Your Majesty, you have not eaten anything. Perhaps I can prepare something else for you. No, I'm not hungry. A little fruit or some sweet almonds? No. Majesty! Noosh! What news of my uncle? Majesty, your uncle is well. Then why has he not taken the clothes I've sent him? He, he cannot... He will not wear them. What? The, the truth is, Mordecai is in mourning. In mourning? What's happened? <laughs> Who has died? Ariel, your majesty. No! No, Ariel! No, sh Hepzibah! What's happened? Uh, Ar Ariel was killed this morning. No! <laughs> Why? Why? Your, your majesty, the, 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 there's something you should know. The, the, there's, there's a decree signed by the king ordering the destruction of all the Jews, young and old. No. It, 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 it says... It, it says... Majesty, it says it will happen on the 13th day of the 12th month, the month of Adar, and a copy of this decree has been issued as law in every province. How could this be? Your Majesty, the King... He's under the misapprehension that the Jews are plotting against him. How could he think that? What cause does he have to sentence the Jews to such a cruel fate? I don't know. <laughs> and Ariel? A victim, Majesty. A victim of this atrocity. <laughs> your Majesty, you, you need not worry. The, the king doesn't know your true identity. But what about my uncle? My people? Something must be done to stop this massacre. But alas, a king's decree cannot be changed. Your Majesty, Mordecai wants... What does Mordecai want? Mordecai wants you to go before the king and, and, and plead on behalf of your people. What? <laughs> That's impossible. The king has not summoned me these past 30 days. It could mean death to anyone who approaches him without being called. If he does not hold out his scepter to me, it will mean my death. I know, I, I, I know, Your Majesty. It, it, it was just foolish of Mordecai to even suggest it. All across the land, people in distress, fatal destiny, the How long can we mourn? Who will hear our cry? Why must we pay? Why must we die? Am I doing wrong? Asking her to go. She will be at risk, I know. God, if you are there. Courage to be strong, rest assured, God is always in control. The will to take a stand for what is right. We may face uncertainty. wrong have faith it's not too late is there a reason that we've come through this gate maybe for a time like this you must see the king tell him who you are he may grant what 
that you desire. Do not be afraid, keep the faith we share, remember how you're in his care. It's a step of faith. But I must. Noosh, go to my uncle and tell him to gather all the Jews. Tell him they must not eat or drink anything for three days and three nights. I will also fast with my maids. Then I shall go to the king. And if I perish, I perish. Though 
those proud Greeks have seized more cities in Asia Minor. We must teach them a lesson. Yes, we must. We just need to smash them one more time. Like we did with the Egyptians when they rebelled. And they have been as quiet as little kittens ever since. But we'll need a new fleet. The Athenians smashed 400 ships. Half of the 800 we built in Cyprus. Your Majesty, what we need is a national purpose. A driving force to unite the Empire. I say let's crush the Greeks! The very voice of Mardonius. But what could he tell us now? Buried far beneath a vast heap of dead Persian soldiers. It's our conquest that have made us the greatest empire on earth. And has depleted our army. Sire, we must protect and maintain our land. We cannot afford to continue with new conquests. We're losing too many good but men. But that's what's made us so great. Two of my ministers have been murdered. An attempt has been made on my life. We need to address this problem before we can even contemplate any more invasions. Your Majesty, I have my best men working on the investigation. And what have they uncovered? Nothing! Your Majesty, at Haman's request, I have placed six of my best officers on this case. But alas, there is no progress. Rest assured, Your Majesty, I am working on a new, better plan to uncover these killers. Very well. But I need a solution to this problem, and soon. I want this problem pulled out by the roots! Majesty, we're working on the assumption that the killers come from a small but dangerous minority group of Jews. We have plans in place to deal with them all in a few months. Yes, they will all be dealt with in a... soon. Your Majesty has decreed it. Quite rightly so. The month of Adar. But do you have any evidence of this assumption? My secret police. Tell me there is much discontent among these infidels. They are trying to upset the Persian Empire. They are probably in league with the Greek. Ha! That's ridiculous! We have other foreigners living in Susa. What makes you so sure it's the Jews? Sire, we have never had a problem with these people. They very much keep to themselves. I think Haman's investigations are a little premature. You are wrong, Memekin! None of us are safe here! The enemy is here, not out there! Is there anyone left in this kingdom I can trust? Can I trust you? You! You! Esther, my queen, what may I do for you? Ask, and even to half my kingdom, it shall be given to you. If it so pleases your majesty, would you and Haman join me for a banquet I have prepared for you tonight? A banquet tonight? She can't be serious! I will never get this ready on time! Look at the place! It's in a mess! A banquet tonight is she crazy? <sighs> no time to waste, we must prepare the banquets in one night. We're in a rush, the deadline's very tight. Deadline's so tight. Will we cook? When will we clean? The place is in a mess. We should survive, although we're under stress. Under stress. Oh, yes, we for the king. We've got to do no time to think. Oh, yes, we are working as we sing. We are preparing for the king. Oh, preparing for the king. For the steak, who's going to get the couches by the lake? Can't take no break. Can't take no break. Can someone call a doctor?
Exclusive. I dined with the king and queen alone. And what's more, the queen has invited me to dine with them again. Well, that is indeed an honour, Haman. You must have made quite an impression. What is the queen like? I hear she's very young and beautiful. Indeed, she is very young. <laughs> you are almost there. It won't be long now, and all of this will be ours. You will rule the largest empire in the world. With the taxes I've collected, I have already secured a large army of my own. All the guards south of the palace have been replaced with our own men. Excellent. And the palace gate? That too. What of the gatekeeper? The gatekeeper? He is there, I imagine. Of course, he would be. But not for long. No, not for long. Make sure no one, and I mean no one, has noticed the change in the palace guards. Yes, sir. What is it? Mordecai. He defied me again at the palace gate as I left the banquet. What good is all the honour the king has given me? If Mordecai reveals that I am behind the murders. Oh, why not just hang him? It would serve him right. Come, my dear. Your time has come to overthrow. No, not yet. We still need more men. And there are a couple of princes I need to deal with. Otherwise, their attempts will fail. And to mention that dreaded Mordecai. Mordecai? Mordecai? His days are numbered. Just go to the king and inform him that Mordecai is in league with the assassins and request his execution. Napo, when would be the opportune day for Haman to hang Mordecai? I'll build a gallows fit 
50 cubits high. It doesn't look like you are getting anywhere. You did it. It's tomorrow. You have been selected by the powers behind the runes. You've done it, Haman. Luke. It's almost dawn. The beginning of the best day of my life. I'll go ask the king for the hanging of Mordecai. He certainly will not refuse. Mordecai will get what he deserves. Finally get you to sleep. Something to eat or drink. Uh, something to read, perhaps. Your chronicles. Some concubines. The Queen! Yes, the Queen. My Queen. I keep wondering what it is that Esther really wants. There was something in her countenance at the banquet last night I couldn't quite figure out. What was that, Memican? Uh, shall I send for the Queen, sire? Uh, maybe she'll help you get to sleep. No, the Queen is sleeping. Let's not disturb her. Wish I was sleeping. Send the servants to their quarters. At least they can get some sleep. she holding back from me? What is it that I fail to see? She seems so troubled and so unsettled. I cannot bear to see her this way. Did I fail to love her? And know her much deeper What a fool I have been How I love you, my queen I'll stay by your side I'll care for no one else beside my queen. Our first vow I now pledge to renew, to share a What was that, Mammy Can? <laughs> Mammy Can! Uh, would you like to read your chronicles, sire? Yes, and a scribe to read them to me. <laughs> the 
vast empire that Herxes inherited was the culmination of the work of the first three kings. The empire was established by Herxes' grandfather, Cyrus the Great, who had inherited the kingdom of Anasha. Cyrus defeated the king of the Medes and became king of Media as well as Anasha. Cyrus defeated in turn the Lydians, the Anus, the Bactrians and the Babylons, but was killed fighting the Cynthians. During his reign, a plot to assassinate King Herxes was uncovered and word was sent to the queen who in turn told the king. The assassination was reported by the Jew Mordecai. The palace gatekeeper who had overheard a nobleman planning the assassination. Before the assassins could be apprehended, they were killed by Haman. But I thought it was Haman who uncovered the plot. Memukan? Memukan, was it not Haman who uncovered the assassination plot? No, sire. Uh, the queen herself informed me of it. But it was Mordecai, the gatekeeper, who reported it. Has nothing been done to reward this Mordecai for saving my life? No, sire. Mordecai will get what he deserves. But how? Who was out in the courtyard? Prince Haman is outside, Your Majesty. Very good. Bring him in. <clears throat> ah, Prince Haman. Just the man I wanted to see. Majesty. Haman, what should be done to honor the man who saved my life? For the man whom the king chooses to honor. Let them bring a royal robe that the king has worn and a royal crown. Then let one of his most trusted princes lead him through the streets of the city proclaiming, this is the way the king honors those who truly please him. Just when life had destined me to a bitter end Things have changed so rapidly I cannot understand Yesterday crying, tearing my clothes Mourning a cruel fate Today I'm honored in royal robes, how strange is it real? Can it be so unreal? A mystery. Just my ruler of the land. Things have 
change so rapidly I cannot understand Yesterday plotting, mighty and strong Everything looked so sure It's hard to believe that the spirits are wrong this time Can it be? It all sounds so unreal a mystery Please him.
Your Majesty, this is the most enjoyable banquet I have ever attended. I consider it a great privilege. Oh, my Lord Haman, I have more surprises in store for you. But first, drink. There is no wine finer in the whole of Persia greater than His Majesty's. Esther, my queen, you have excelled yourself. For this is indeed a most magnificent banquet. Thank you, my lord. Haman, I heard you visited my training academy yesterday. Indeed, sire. Your men give me a perfect demonstration of their fighting skills. Of course. His Majesty's men are trained to perfection. Where would we be without the king's men? Haman, you have men of your own. And from what I hear, they are very skilled. They need to be, to stump out rebellion. <laughs> yes, you say there is rebellion, but as of yet, I have seen no evidence of it. But sire, the attempts on your life. But how can you be so sure that it's the Jews living in Susa? Why, only yesterday, one of them was honored for saving my life. Mordecai. Yes, Mordecai. He's probably in league with them. Why, who else would wish to want to see your demise? You, Haman! Majesty! Esther, you can't be serious. I am serious. Haman is behind the murders of your ministers and the attempts in your life. He is the one who made you decree the destruction of the Jews. Esther, my queen, this is indeed a fierce accusation. What evidence do you have to prove your theory? Mordecai! Go on. Mordecai was at the palace gates the night that Haman and his wicked wife plotted against you. He overheard everything, and Haman knows this. Haman, is this true? <laughs> Your Majesty can't possibly accept the evidence of a Jew. Why, he would say anything, anything at all, to save his own skin. No, Majesty, it is not I. It is the Jews who are your real enemies here. I am not your enemy, my king. I, too, am a Jew. Esther, why didn't you tell me this before? I couldn't. I promised my uncle, Mordecai. Majesty, this is treason! No, Majesty. The Queen speaks the truth. It is her man. He is plotting to overthrow. His guards are surrounding the palace. He even built gallows to silence Mordecai. Guards! I held you in high esteem, above all others, and this is how you repay me! Yes! I have fought long and hard for this kingdom, for you were preoccupied with finding a queen. You are not fit to be king! No, Kove. I will deal with Haman. No crown, Xerxes. Better get used to it. Crown or no crown? I am still the king! I trusted him. You were not to know, my lord. Mama come and I only found out this past week what Haman was up to. And you didn't come and tell me? I couldn't. I was afraid. That's why I planned this banquet for you. Not only beautiful, but clever, too. Ahem! <laughs> ah, Memuka, you have always served me well. You have done a good job. You too, Kove. Thank you, sire. But it was Mordecai who brought it to our attention. So, Mordecai is your uncle? Yes, my lord. Sire, the royal decree. Under the circumstances, something should be done. A man's handiwork. Change it. But, sire, a royal decree cannot be rescinded. It's the law. 
Then let an edict be delivered throughout the Persian Empire, far and wide, that no blood must be shed by any Persian against any Jew, and that the Jewish people have the right to defend themselves against any crime committed against them. And let it be known throughout the empire that the traitor Haman was hung on his own gallows along with his ten sons. Let it be known throughout the empire that there shall be a new prime minister to replace the traitor Haman, a man of great honor to whom I owe my life, the Jew Mordecai.